the brewery was founded in uh, 1872 in Munich from George Schneider the first and uh, his, he, he bought the right to brew wheat beer from the Bavarian Dukes. In uh, World War II the Munich brewery was destroyed by the bombs and the family decided uh, to continue brewing only in the Killham place. In this safe we keep the treasure of the brewery, it's uh, the original recipe uh, from George the I. Uh, where he wrote all the secret things of the original Bavarian wheat beer. We are in the laboratory of the brewery now and we uh, do a lot of um, analysis of uh, beer samples. And uh, this is a filter, a, sh a station for filtering the samples. Uh, we have a, a sample from the uh, fermentation room, it's very cloudy and uh, uh, we have to filter it for the next steps in the, analyze, in the analyzing um, and to, to make it a little bit more clear. If you think about the brewery, you, uh, most people think it's a very mysterious thing, but um, it is, of course, and uh, that's, that's why we like the, the job. Uh, but uh, it's very important to know the basics and to know all the details about the raw materials and uh, what happens uh, during the process. We, we do a very exact job and we look to all things uh, to find out what happens. Now we are in the brew house. It's uh, the place where the three raw materials like hops, malt and water are mixed together. These three materials are regulated by the German Reinheitsgebot or uh, German purity law. It was the first uh, food safety law by Duke William I. We started a new uh, hygienic design concept in, that in this brewery. On this place, uh, it's a whirlpool. Uh, we we uh, identified some critical, uh, critical points uh, like the, the valves to empty for emptying the, the tank. We want to use uh, EH certified valves uh, and we uh, had a, to make them uh, dead space free. And uh, another very critical point here was to separate the drain from the rest of the process. This tank disconnect the wastewater from the drain system. That's a, it's a siphon where you can see the disconnection of the drain and the process water. Sometimes there are simple things uh, that make a process hygienic. Now we are below the word kettle. It's the place where the word boils for one hour and uh, you see the big pipes uh, with the new red uh, valves. Uh, this is one of the last steps in our re-engineering uh, we did. And we found out that they now work really, really well and really clean. It, uh, it needs um, a long time to uh, change the mindset uh, in these uh, new systems uh, because in the old times we, we start with uh, hoses and uh, old valves and then we, we jump into the new world of automatic systems and uh, new uh, dead space free valves a bit. It, needs, uh, a, it, it was a challenging process for all the people here, for all the workers. But now we are very happy that we did it and it works really good. So now we walk in, it's called the beer tower in our brewery. And what we do here is to... It's one, it's one very important part of the traditional system. The old traditional system, we have to uh, blend, to make a blend from fermented wort uh, with about 10% unfermented wort. And uh, for that it's a, it's a very sensitive process and we did the same as in the rest of the brewery. We uh, replaced the old valves through the new dead space free system. Uh, it's called Ecomatrix from GEA. It's, uh, uh, again, uh, EH certified system 
uh, supported by GEA. This is a very unique fermentation room, uh, which is um, built uh, like the old tradition says, with open fermenters, with, with open vessels, and the uh, um, crit critical point here is uh, to get uh, the high hygienic level with these open tanks. And for that, uh, air conditioning is very important. We have filtered air, air conditioning with filtered air, and uh, there's nobody allowed to come in normally. <laughs> I hope you like all these uh, things uh, what we, I showed to you, and uh, we want to share all these new ideas. And welcome here in the brewery, welcome in Kilheim, and bye bye. <laughs>